and a welding process. Next topic is heat required for resistance welding. Heat required for resistance welding. This formula is commonly used in welding operations. It is one of those important formula for solving problems under the welding process. Okay. Heat utilized is given by mass of the nugget into heat required per unit mass. Okay. Mass of the nugget, we, uh, we all know that density is equal to mass by volume. So, mass is equal to density into volume. Volume of nugget into density of nugget into heat, heat required per unit mass can be done as sensible heat plus latent heat. Can be done as sensible heat plus latent heat. Okay. So, volume into density, sensible heat can be done as Cp into Tm minus Tr. That is, sensible heat can be done as Cp into del T plus latent heat value. Okay. This Tm is temperature of melting point and Tr is room temperature. Okay. Um, so, this is the final formula. Okay. This is important for solving problems. You have to know all these things. Sometimes in the question they are given and they will be giving directly the heat required per gram also. I have to take this also. Okay. And the volume of nugget is given by pi by 4 d square into h. Volume of nugget is pi by 4 d square into h. Cp is specific heat, LH is latent heat. Okay. This is heat utilized. This is heat utilized. Okay. Heat utilized or uh, heat required also. This is heat utilized or heat required. Okay. If the volume of nugget is in this shape, okay. If the if the volume of nugget is in shape of elliptical in a vertical axis, okay, then you have to take volume of elliptical nugget is equal to volume of cylinder. Volume of elliptical nugget is equal to volume of cylinder. Pi by 4 d square into h. D is equal to 6 root T, where T is thickness of the nugget. Okay? It is given by Unwin's formula and H is equal to 2T. H is equal to 2 into thickness. If the nugget is, is given as elliptical, then volume of elliptical nugget is equal to volume of sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube. Capital D is equal to 2 into thickness. Okay? Most of the questions will be solved with uh, elliptical nugget in Okay, so this this form is important. And coming to efficiency, efficiency of welding operation is given by heat required for welding operation by heat generated. Heat generated is total heat generated. That is I square R T. That is I square R T. And heat required is this one. So, if the efficiency falls between 85 to 95% then it is resistance welding. If the efficiency falls between 55 to 65% then it is gas welding. If, if it falls below 45 to 55% then it is arc welding process. Thank you.